Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Today's episode is going to be on survival mentality. And not so much how to develop one, but we're going to discuss what makes people in tough situations survive and what makes people in that same situation uh, either kill themselves or just let themselves die. Right? So, let's get into it. What is survival mentality? Well, survival mentality is basically the will to live. That's it. I'm not going to give this long explanation on what it is. It is the will to live. There are people who've been in situations and survived. And there are other people that have been in the same situation and died. People try to figure out why. Well, one had a mental, uh, had mental toughness to survive. They had the positive attitude and motivation to survive. All right? They had the adaptability to adapt to the situation that's going on. Right, so the five attributes of mental toughness is, and I'm going to go in order, positive attitude, mental toughness, motivation, work ethics, and adaptability. Now, those are the five attributes that come together with survival mentality, meaning you have to have all five to survive, right? So mental toughness. No, let's start at the top. I'm sorry. Positive attitude. It doesn't matter how bleak the situation might look. You should stay on the up and up. You should say, tell yourself, we're going to get out of this. And not that it's going to be okay because it's not, but that you're going to get out of this situation. Mental toughness. You need to be able to think past what's going on. So instead of going, all right, we're going to get out of this, but now you're thinking about the situation at hand, you're like, well, well, no. You have to be tough enough to deal with what's going on, right? You have to be able to say, all right, this happened. Now what are we going to do? Motivation. You have to stay motivated. It's probably easy to sit back and go, well, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to hope this blows over. It doesn't work that way for survival mentality to work. You have to be motivated, and you have to be motivated to do something. That's the next step. Do something. Motivate yourself to get out of that situation and put yourself in a better situation. Work ethics. Well, listen, I've taken my group out a couple of times. I've seen the lazy people in my group. I know exactly who is not going to pull through when the shit hits the fan. Right? So work ethics is a party of survival. So, for example, in Alone, the TV show on and the History Channel, you have to have survival mentality, right? So work ethics is cutting up firewood, hunting, building a shelter, uh, surveying the land, surveying animal tracks. I mean, you have all of these things come and you have to do this every day to get out of that situation and to make your situation better. Adaptability. Adapt to what's going on, right? And I'm going to use this uh, situation uh, not lightly, right? But the World Trade Center during 9-11, that situation... Once the planes went into the building, everybody had to adapt to what was going on and figure out what was the next move. And once everybody realized that it was two planes in the building, people were able to work and get things done. Now, yes, a lot of guys died, but they were still thinking, we got to get something done and we got to save those people. That was adapting to the situation and not sitting there staring, everybody staring at the building going, what are we going to do? Right? They adapted to the situation and they move forward. Now, there are they're the opposite. There are opposite attributes to the five I just mentioned. Right? Pessimism is number one. Declining mental capability, stubbornness, hopelessness, and laziness are the opposite of those five attributes. Like I said, I've identified laziness in, in, in my group. Does that mean my group's going to fall to shit when the shit hits the fan? No. Because you could uh, light fire into a couple of those people's asses and it'll get moving. Remember, remember we are in uh, a calm scenario right now. So maybe when the shit hits the fan, they'll, they'll jump to it. Who knows? But laziness and stubbornness can be, um, can be avoided. Declining mental capability, that's dangerous because that has to do with a lot of things. Uh, morale being low, 
food being low, no food at all, dehydration, no water, no drinking water at all, right? So those three things can add to uh, mental, declining, mental declining capabilities. You can build mental toughness by learning it, reading about it, and putting yourself in certain situations that you wouldn't do, situations that make you uncomfortable. So there's a SEAL fitness school out in California, if you're looking to do that. You could do uh, a survival course, right, past their basic and intermediate courses, and go into their uh, advanced courses, and you're going to be in survival mode, survival mentality mode, right? You can also take a GoVra class or courses which are here in the city and probably worldwide and put yourself in a shitty situation and see how you fare. You can build that because once the body knows what to do in a stressful situation, it's like clockwork. Now you know, all right, I have to do this. I got to plan that. That's survival mentality. Planning what's going to happen next and just having the will to live. I'm going to touch on this, and I'm not, again, going to touch on it lightly, suicides. There have been a couple cases in survival situations where suicides played a role. People just gave up. They got into a situation, thought it was a doom and gloom and no way out, and killed themselves. That's a mental quitter, all right? Now, yes, outside of um, being mentally sick or, or whatever it is, and, and that leading you to suicide, mental quitters are just people who sit down and do nothing eventually either die off from hunger or starvation or kill themselves, right? But if you have mental toughness, if you have adaptability, you're not lazy, you're going to survive. Or you probably will survive. Not that you are going to, sorry. All right, guys, so this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You could uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. You can also listen to me on podcasts. And if you would like to, give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And you can also subscribe to my uh, Urban channel. Alright guys, thank you for watching.